Let's talk plans for Diane's baby shower. Dear God, woman. Three main activities, baby bingo, baby food tasting, and my personal favorite, baby onesie decorating station. I'm gonna make mine look like an astronaut. What are you doing up there in space, baby? Oh, so cute. Okay, I have some gift ideas. I was looking at a very adorable stroller. We already have a stroller. Oh, shoot, really? I'm gonna have to think of something else. <gasps> oh my God, whose baby is that? That would be mine. Guys, get in here. Ron has a baby. Oh, Ron, cool baby. Thank you, Andrew. Everyone, I'd like to introduce you to my son, John, middle name redacted, Swanson. John was born some time ago, weighing multiple pounds and several ounces. Much like his father, he is a fan of silence. Please keep your voices down. How am I supposed to keep my voice down when you had your baby? And you didn't tell me that you had your baby? Why would you need to know something like that? Why would I? Oh my god. I have not even sent Diane a gift. She's just walking around, wondering why I haven't sent her a gift yet. Should we do something? Just let her tire herself out. If you need anything from us, Ron, please just let us know. Actually, there is something. Could one of you please stop by the pet store and pick up some fish food for me? When did you get a fish? Oh my God, you're so cute. You're the cutest little boob I've ever seen. You are the world's most adorable baby and I love you. You are so freaking precious. <sighs> The cook ale made for the baby. Oh it says property uh, of Pawnee government. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> Come on, John. Jeez. Mouse rat CD, $30. Candy bars, $50. $50. God, people here are so cheap. April, where have you been? Over two phone calls came in, unimpeded. We're raising money for my college education, Ron. I took a second job back at my old job. Do you want a shoe shine? It's a hundred dollars. <laughs> Laugh all you want, Kyle. I already took the money out of your wallet. Oh. Good news, son. You have just won a Ron Swanson scholarship. I don't think so. I don't remember applying no, for any. No, Andy, Ron Swanson scholarship. Wait, are you serious? Stop this. No. Stop or you lose the money. Why not? I like the kid, and I have the money. One thing I promised myself when I buried gold in my backyard was that I'd never be a hoarder or a miser about it. Hey. Hey. Am I interrupting something important? Impossible. I work for the government. I just picked up the girls. Thought we'd stop by. Oh, are the girls? <laughs> yes, they are. Hello, girls. Diane and I have been seeing a lot of each other recently. She is a sharp, confident, strong woman. Her children are loud. Kung Fu! Here comes trouble! This is fun. Easy, girls. We'll be careful, Miss Lewis. I'm sorry. I got it. We just wanted to invite you to come trick-or-treating tonight. I think I'm a little old. Should we go, Ron, please? Please. Well, you can come, sure. But we have to go buy seven or else the good candy will be gone. <laughs> Sounds perfect. <laughs> come on, girls. Ah! Ah, it's in there, ah, in there. What the hell just happened? In the time I've worked here, I've taken great pains to see as little of this building as possible. Turns out the third floor is silent, empty, and completely free of government work. I can't think of anything more beautiful to share with my son. Well, if I had a toolbox, I could take care of that faulty radiator. Ooh, this place is a paradise. Just as we suspected, John, we repaired the valve stem seal, and now all that remains is to tighten down this packing nut. And that should do it. Can we help you? No. We have everything under control. My crew's redoing this whole floor. We're the only people allowed up here right now. Well, proceed with your work. You won't notice us at all. Well, we're gonna be kind of loud. <laughs> My son is several weeks old. He's quite familiar with the sound of power tools. Hmm. Your shoes are red now? Yay. Hooray. <laughs> hey. Mommy! You survived, huh? Indeed, I did. Uh, how were they, really? Couldn't have been better. We had a wonderful time. Oh, well, that's good, because my sitter is still out of town. So I 
really hate to ask you this, but is there any way that you could take him again tomorrow? No, of course. I'd be delighted. You're a lifesaver. Thank you. Girls, you want to spend another day with Ron? Yeah! Ben is meeting with the tent people to finalize those deals. April and Donna will be helping me with the vendor location charts, and I will be meeting with the surveyors about the concert grounds. I would like to volunteer to do the park survey myself. Wow, Ron, I always knew there would be a day when I would get through to you, and you would love government work. Today is that historic day. Yes, that is what has happened. Spending the day outside alone sounds like a dream. I love being a father, but there are a few things I miss. Silence, the absence of noise, one single moment undisturbed by the sounds of a children's TV program called Doc McStuffins. There is no quiet anymore. There is only Doc McStuffins. Hey, what's up, guys? Look around me. It's amazing. Several months ago, I was on a walk and found my crib tree. I approached the tree, murdered it, left it to cure in my wood shop, and have begun working it into a crib for my upcoming child. Ron Swanson, you cannot use this crib. You're ignoring every known crib safety standard. It's all covered in the parenting book I'm reading. Are you going to crawl my way by Lenny Kravitz? My crib will be safe because I'm building it with my own two hands. Thank you for the woodworking lesson, Ron. This whole crib recall thing has got me literally rethinking everything I thought I knew about parenting. What sleep method will you be using? Ferber? Sears? Swanson method where you close your eyes and fall asleep. I really wish Ron would engage, but he exudes so much wisdom that I can learn parenting tips simply by being in his presence. Someone like Ron is teaching even when they're not teaching. Does that make sense? My anxiety has kept me up for over 50 hours. <laughs> if a joint is properly fashioned, all you need to do is guide it into place. All you need to do is guide it into place. What I get from that is, when parenting, sometimes a subtle hand is more effective than a strong one. This is already so much more helpful than the last book on parenting I read, Rad Dads, by Apollo Anton Ono and Sean White. Uh. Ron, why did you throw that wood away? It's unstable. It's no good. I just don't understand the throwing away the wood metaphor. What's the lesson? Oh, I know! <laughs> it's potty training. That trash can is the toilet, and the wood was the feces. Chris, I'm not teaching you anything. We're just building a crib. No, I know you're not consciously teaching me anything. I'm just trying to siphon off some of your calm, centered wisdom through metaphors. Metaphors? I hate metaphors. That's why my favorite book is Moby Dick. No frou-frou symbolism, just a good, simple tale about a man who hates an animal. That's enough for today, I think. An organized child no. is a... Ron? What's this? The crib I built, I'm giving it to you and Ann. It's perfectly safe. I tested it by hitting it with my truck. Well, Ron, I can't accept. This is for your baby. Well, there's more than one crib tree in a forest. That's not a lesson, by the way, just a comment on lumber availability. It's beautiful, thank you. Nobody has all the right answers in parenting, including me. And that toxic crib you bought won't be the last mistake you make. But a man who is this worried about making all the right choices cares very much. That's all that matters. You'll be a great father. Thank you, Ron, for the crib and the advice. It's much better than any metaphor. What's that? Nothing. <clears throat> Clear my throat. Oh, look, John, it's red pine. They were gonna put flecked linoleum over this beautifully preserved, knotty red pine. Most people in this world, John, are ass <laughs> This is the best day I've ever spent in a government building, and luckily my son was here to share it with me. He now has that satisfied look that only comes with the pride of labor. Or he pooped. Either way, well done, John.